Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new COD Mobile video. Here I do have the patch notes coming for Season 5 in Call of Duty Mobile. And as always, I will be running through them and showing what is going to be added. The buffs and nerfs coming to guns and attachments and so on and so forth. So if you are new here, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell and choice on all and not personalized. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future. And also go ahead and hit a like on this video. It only takes one sec and it helps the video a lot in terms of YouTube's algorithm. So let's get right into it. The first nerf of course is coming to the PP19 Bison and this is a overdue nerf of course because the PP19 is just ridiculous right now as it relates to range especially since the beginning of this season most assault rifles were either nerfed or both to basically fit what SMGs are actually supposed to do which is dominate at close ranges however the PP19 Bison is still pretty much a very competitive SMG at mid and long distances and it does beat a lot of assault rifles so the first change is when the pp19 is equipped without attachments the range is reduced and i think this means the range overall on the pp19 bison is being reduced when you don't put on any attachments that actually increase the range like certain barrels or models and this is very integral because the main issue i have with the pp19 is how much damage it does at range secondly they also reduce the damage at range that certain attachments do when equipped with the pp19 and this includes the monolithic suppressor and the owc marksman so this is actually a very smart move by card mobile because as i always said that is the main issue with the pp19 and it is the range however hopefully it is not gonna kill the pp19 bison because it is not the best gun at range very fast firing assault rifles like the qq9 or the qxr will do pretty good work against the pp19 so let's see how that comes into play additionally guys there were a ton of changes made to the qxr which i would regard as the best gun overall right now in card mobile so i'll go through the changes that were made and then i'll try to explain them as best as possible so firstly overall damage is reduced when the qxr is equipped without attachments also the chest damage factor increases when the qxr is equipped without attachments when qxr is mounted without attachments bullet spread is slightly increased when the qxr is equipped with the reinforcement bolt the chest damage factor is reduced slightly increases vertical recoil when qxr is equipped with the reinforcement bolt and finally they would reduce the damage at range the qxr does when equipped with the monolithic suppressor and the owc marksman and i just want to say wow that is really a lot of stuff to take in so let me just try to go over it as best as possible so of course it seems the main thing that cod mobile was actually focusing on was the reinforcement bolt perk which is a gun perk that actually slightly increases the rate of fire for the qxr and even though i don't think that was what made the qxr so op but i guess they know what they're doing so basically anytime you decide to put on this gun perk you will have increased vertical recoil the damage the qxr also does to the chest region will also be reduced and the damage the qxr does to the chest area will also be reduced and of course i guess card mobile want to balance it out by giving a slight buff to the qxr in terms of the ads bullet spread so of course when you use attachments on the qxr the ads bullet spread and accuracy will also be increased and of course i don't think this will be any huge changing factor because the qxr was already one of the most accurate smgs to begin with additionally guys we are finally getting some love for the asm10 which i don't really see it being used a lot for a few seasons now so firstly the range of the asm10 will be increased when you are not using any attachment and secondly aimed fire time is reduced when asm10 is equipped with the owc ranger or owc marksman and obviously this means a faster ads time when you equip either the owc ranger or the OWC marksman so it's going to be very interesting to see if the ASM10 can make its way back this season a change is also coming to the locust when the locust is equipped with the OWC skeleton the aiming shoot time is slightly increased so in addition to the major sniper nerf that happened this season when using the OWC skeleton with the locust the ADS time will be slightly slower this season due to come they also reduce the aim fire time of the ARG 556 while using the the MIP extended light barrel, the OWC marksman or the RTC steady stock and this is actually very needed for the AGR556 because I totally didn't even remember that this gun was even in the game. 
I hardly even see it in rank right now. I see the PDW more than this gun, and both of them are very underused guns. So I'm guessing that we'll probably see more changes to the ARG 556 in the future, but right now we're just gonna be seeing a faster ADS time while using the attachments that I did list out earlier. In the final change comes to probably the most annoying score streak this season. Of course the Hawk X3 because I, I don't know I mean you can just find who is using it quickly and kill them but it is very annoying trust me. So firstly they did reduce the HP of the Hawk X3 and I'm very happy for this because of course I'd waste rounds and rounds and rounds trying to shoot down this thing so hopefully it is a lot easier to shoot down now and also they did decrease the accuracy of the Hawk X3 while continuously shooting and those are actually two pretty solid nerfs if you ask me so hopefully I'll be seeing this thing use less in rank right now and finally we have a bug fix fixed a bug where player vision could go through walls in certain locations on Tonsania and I'm just gonna say that because I do not play search a lot and I really play on the Tonsania map I definitely haven't played there in seasons so I didn't really know about this so if you have experienced that that will be no more all right guys that is it thank you so much for watching if you did make it to the end be sure to go ahead hit the subscribe button our next goal is 12,000 subscribers and that would mean a whole lot to me so go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like and share with a friend if you did like this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out